train was crowded, but I came down to this one. My advice is go before you get on the train. Hey, these people are not on their A game. I'm at the station and today it's all about taking the local trains in Italy. I'm going to show you the ins and outs of riding the smaller trains so you're prepared for your next Italian vacation. Along the way from here in Florence to Pisa, I'm going to give you my top 10 list for taking the local trains in Italy. Whether you're a seasoned traveler or new to going by train, this should help you navigate the system with ease and make the most out of your journey. Now let's go. Now one thing you want to do before you get to the train station and when you get to the train station here is check the train times. Now often in Italy there are delays or yes strikes all over Europe and here in Italy as well. Strikes that can cause delays. So check this old school style printout. Also there's a digital board as well in most train stations. Trains, the local trains run infrequently and often they're delayed so pay attention. Often in times when I'm taking the long haul fast trains, I buy my tickets online in advance. But for these local trains where I know there's always seating available and the trains, they do run frequently, I use the machine. It's super easy, the menu's also in English. You just Beware of pickpockets. You just select the station where you want to go, buy your ticket, and at these train stations, they have the principal train stations listed. Today I'm going to Pisa. One way, one adult, how many children, buy your ticket. Easy, right? My train's at 11.28. It's not yet on the board. Will it show up? Okay. Thank you, grazie. Now the great thing is that there's staff, plenty of staff, and at these international stations like Florence, they're gonna speak English. So if you have questions, you can go up to them and just ask. My train is at 11.28. It's not yet on the board up there, so we got time for it. We are going to have to skip the coffee today. These people are not on their A game, and I don't wanna miss my train. So the train time is now on the board, 11.28, but note, it doesn't say to Pisa, so you look for the train number. Mine's 4027, and it goes to Grosseto, which is the stop at the end of the line, and it passes Pisa. And I wanna get on Benario 4, that means platform four. Let's go. Uh, posso avere un cappuccino? Ciao, grazie. All right, charged up and ready to go. Hi, hi. Uh, how do I get to platform four? One thing of note is even though when you know your platform, pay attention for the announcements because oftentimes they'll make a last minute platform change. Now they make the announcements here in Italian and in English, but it might help to learn a few Italian phrases for traveling by train, such as Benadio, that means platform. Biglietto, that means ticket. Validate, which we're gonna get into. You say con validare, and you need to have that ticket, especially on these local trains. The high-speed trains, not so much. You need to have the ticket con validato, validated. Ah, uh, green is go, that means go. I think I did it on the wrong side. That says con validare sul retro. That means to validate it on the back side. So let's try it again, just to make sure. You can see the date printed on there. It's not very legible, but I think it'll pass. Now here's a train here to Pisa, but you see that's 1138. We're on the 1128 train, and that's also platform six. We need platform four. Navigating through the stations is pretty easy, and most stations, they're outside stations. Obviously, the trains are pulling in and out, and that means you can smoke in here, so people will be smoking all around. It's loud, and sometimes it's cold, so make sure you have a jacket. If it's the summertime, it can get hot. I just noticed that they made an announcement, annuncio di ritardo, that means an announcement of a late train. That's a phrase you never wanna hear, especially if it's your train. Keep checking the train boards as your train time gets closer. Be on the lookout for delays or any change in platforms. Those display boards, it's your wealth of information and what you wanna always focus on when you're here at the train station. If you see a five apostrophe, well that means it's five minute delay. If you see a 60 apostrophe, well that means 60 minutes. It can get pretty bad sometimes. You don't wanna have a delayed train. Okay, we are on our way down to platform number four. Also be aware that platforms, they can have different variations depending upon the station. Uh, here we can have a platform west, platform east. So sometimes you might have two different versions 
of a platform one or a platform two, usually it's the extremities down at the one or at the upper end, the maximum, the, the highest platform that they have here. In this case, Florence, it goes all the way up to 16. Someone up there just noticed me and said that they watched one of my other train videos. They're a subscriber. If you haven't subscribed yet, please do. You help the channel grow and get these videos out to other people and you're always notified of my new upcoming videos. And here in this case, there's a platform 1A and a platform one, so be alert. Local trains, especially during rush hour, can be very crowded. So look in the windows before you board, see if the car is empty or has space and then get on it. Uh, be aware that you may have to stand up sometimes. Unlike the high-speed train, you don't have reserved seats. And we're on. <laughs> There's your pro tip. Now that last train was crowded, but I came down to this one. I had nearly have it all to myself. I just put my luggage up there, but that's another tip. Be mindful of your luggage. In addition, Hi. Sorry. In addition to having many people on these trains, it can be crowded and so there's not a lot of space for your luggage. Now there's the places up top, but if you have heavy luggage, it may not, well, you may not be able to lift it up there. So you can slide it underneath here, underneath the seats, or if there's space, you can just park it in the seats right next to you. We're leaving and the train's on time. Also, if you're liking this video, give it a thumbs up for me. Click that thumbs up down below. Seating on the local trains, well, it's first come, first serve. That's the bad thing. But the good thing is, if there's not a lot of people on the train, you're free to move around wherever you want and get that perfect window spot to watch the Italian countryside go rolling by. Also, be aware, always keep an eye on your belongings because, well, we're in Italy and it's not always the safest country and yes, there are thieves. So when you're traveling, especially at the stops, when people are getting on and off, make sure your luggage is always there. Now there are bathrooms like this one here. They're marked WC for water closet. I'm not sure if this one's occupied or if it's out of service. I can't open the door. My advice is go before you get on the train or wait until you get off the train because on the local trains, the bathrooms aren't that nice. Here's a pro tip. If you can't find a seat in the main train, look for these guys here. They pop out, they're little bench seats, little jumper seats, and you can sit here and ride the entire time in this little train and you still get the view out the window. Here we are, I'm in one of the bathrooms. Uh, just to interrupt this video for one second to let you know about the Italy Insider e-guide that I put out so you can download it, have it in your pocket offline when you're traveling around this country. Everything you need to know about getting to and from Italy, hotels, Airbnbs, things like carrying cash and how you're gonna connect to the internet. There's a link to download it in the description below. So you can see the conditions. You probably don't want to use this. Also, everything that goes in that toilet goes out on the tracks. This is old school Italian train traveling. Hate it or love it. Pay attention to the train stops. The local trains, they stop along the way. And so if you need to get off the train, you gotta stop wherever you can. And also pay attention that the train stops at the station where you want it to stop. If you do smoke, when the train stops at these stations, you can hop off for a minute and get a couple of puffs in. What I do is I check the time on my train ticket. My train is due to get into Pisa at 12.25. So around that time, I watch my smartphone. I know that my train should be close to its destination. Check it out. This is Ponte Dera, birthplace of the famous iconic Vespa. On the train, keep in mind that in the summertime or in the winter time, these things can be poorly heated or poorly air conditioned. Simply try a different car, move around, because sometimes the heating's not working in one and it's working in the other. The same with the AC. Bear in mind, there's no Wi-Fi service on these trains. There are electrical outlets at some seats. However, not many of them are working all the time or your plug may not fit into the outlet if you don't have an adapter. And we are here in Pisa. If you're going to one of these stations and making a connection to another train, when you purchase your ticket online or at the station, make sure you're giving yourself enough time to switch trains at these stations. Because if your train's delayed, you may not make that connection. And always keep your ticket with you or the app where you bought your ticket so you're ready to show it. Sometimes when you exit the train station, they ask to make sure you have a ticket. So take care. Did you know that now I'm putting out a regular newsletter with travel 
tips and hacks and all sorts of other information that you may not get here on the YouTube channel, there's a link to sign up down below. So you can see that traveling by local trains is easy and fun and get you to those small Italian towns like Pisa. Now click on this video here for more information on Italian trains. Thank <laughs> you.